At just 25, Paige has already had one hell of a turbulent life. From her in-ring debut at the age of 13 to her rise as being one of WWE's most loved darlings to being trapped in an internet and media hellfire since she was last seen on TV in 2016, there's a lot to talk about. And with her posting a recent image of her outside a WWE training center, those whispers are getting louder that she may eventually return. Although, probably not with Bertie because, um, well, yeah, you know. So what better time to give her slightly sticky book of life a good old page turn to the past? With this in mind, and with the exception of some rather personal footage leaked on the internet, I'm Jules for WhatCulture.com, and here are 10 things WWE wants you to forget about Paige. Number 10. Slapping a fan in the face Let's start off with a straightforward one. In a relatively sterilized WWE era, where interactions with the crowd are limited to rehearsed entrance antics, spur-of-the-moment heel arguments with fans seem a relic of the past. It would therefore make sense that WWE would be keen for us to forget an incident of Paige straight up slapping a guy in the front row of an indie show. It's no half-hearted attempt either, with her summoning her inner Captain Falcon and straight up lamping the lad. Now, rumors as to why she did it are mixed, with many claiming that the fan actually asked for it because reasons, I guess. Either way, probably not what WWE wants you to see. Number 9. Dropping an F-bomb on live WWE video chat You know what? Swearing happens, and I f***ing love f***ing c swearing. It's great fun to spit your swears out. However, Paige doesn't work in the easily censorable world of voice acting. She has to deal with a ton of live events where a potty mouth is a big no-no. So when she was on a live Facebook chat back in 2015, she responded to an unseen female backstage calling her a bitch by dropping the F-bomb. Immediately, she asked referee Scott Armstrong if she was allowed to swear, to which he meekly replied, no, probably imagining the crate that Vince McMahon would have him sleeping in for the next month as a result. This also resulted in a very short losing streak for the Brit. Not that it hurt her chances with the WWE in the long run, as she was soon back on her winning streak again. Number 8. Her weird first title run Winning a championship for the first time should be a thing of glory. In Paige's case, though, it was a bit of a f***ing mess. She stormed down to the ring as the NXT Women's Champ to congratulate AJ Lee on her title defense, then the Heel Divas Champion slapped her, challenged her to an immediate match, and then Paige shockingly won. This should have been ace. But there were some issues, namely that her finisher hit with all the impact of a dusty fart, and then she bounced from cocky upstart to whimpering babyface several times during their interaction. It's never been brought up by WWE in hype packages since, and it's a real shame that she started on the main roster so very weakly. Number 7. Jerry Lawler's Wondering Eyes In fairness to Paige, this moment can't be pinned on her at all, but rather Jerry Lawler's Wondering Eyes. Yet it's this image in particular that the WWE would like you to forget, with the commentator who is literally shaped out of tanning oil and lust staring at her frame. Fortunately for Jerry, Page took the situation in good grace, even posting a humorous response on her official Instagram page, but the WWE would like to scrub all Attitude Era sex shenanigans from our eyes. Well, unless it's Ellsworth on a chain being treated like a sex slave dog, but that's a woman doing it, so I guess it's okay, hmm? Right? Mm, yeah, double standards there. Number 6. The Submission Sorority Much has been said about the WWE's handling, or rather mishandling, of the Divas Revolution angle. It was pretty poorly booked for a start, but its biggest mistake came in the naming of Paige's babyface stable, The Submission Sorority. The trio, also featuring Becky Lynch and Charlotte, didn't last long under the moniker due to its direct ties to a porn website. The predictable increase in traffic for the term Submission Sorority resulted in a surge of hits for the site in question and an incredibly embarrassing situation for the WWE. The name was hastily scrapped and the trio was quickly rebranded Team PCB, a less imaginative but rather necessary change. Number Number 5. The worst heel turn of the decade so far? As just stated, the Divas Revolution was booked worse than my 18th birthday party in that the invites must have gone to the wrong place as no one showed up. Paige was to turn heel and break up the excellently named PCB team. It began well enough with Charlotte winning the Divas Championship and Paige exhibiting subtle signs of jealousy. However, WWE then immediately jumped the gun, throwing the storyline into disarray. Paige cut a scathing promo on her teammates, seemingly turning heel in the process. Then, over the following weeks, Charlotte and Becky began to question whether they could trust Paige, despite the former NXT champion airing her grievances in a very explicit fashion right in f***ing front of them. Then she begged for forgiveness, and then she finally attacked them, and you know what? No one f***ing cared. The angle was as dead as my 21st birthday party when most of my friends were ill or something. And you know what? It was the worst thing in her career with the WWE. Number 4. Her bar brawl with Alicia Fox This was not a storyline nor a worked shoot angle. It was Paige and Alicia Fox getting 
getting into a real-life altercation with a drunk fan in a Baltimore restaurant. As per usual, WWE were quick and wise to cover up the whole issue, and Paige has since admitted that she feared losing her job over the incident, which saw all involved parties ejected from the premises. The incident began when a drunk woman began filming the pair's conversation without permission. Paige took exception and began to argue, at which point the fan threw a drink at the pair. More drinks were exchanged, not in the friendly way, and staff removed everyone involved before a fight could break out. Number 3. Turning on the Fans As the Facebook F-bomb incident demonstrates, Paige isn't the best at keeping her nose clean on social media. One mistake can be forgiven, especially when it seems to be nothing more than an innocent slip of the tongue, but this following outburst was less than understandable. After an exceptional match between Bailey and Sasha Banks at the NXT TakeOver Brooklyn, Team PCB took on Team Bella and the crowd grew bored, clearly worn out from the previous brawling. After the show, unable to control her contempt for this, Paige took to Twitter and posted, you helped us create change and then you did your best to disrespect. Nice job. And it had about five E's and about 17 B's to emphasize that point. But you know what? It's hard not to see this as seeming entitled and jealous, and the fact it was deleted quick sharp probably means that WWE felt the same. Number two, her comments on fighting with my family. In 2012, UK TV network Channel 4 aired a documentary entitled Wrestling, Fighting with My Family, showcasing the lives of the Norwich-based Knight family. The documentary is a fascinating look at the lives of indie wrestlers and included a great deal about Paige's attempt to break into the WWE. The show doesn't exactly provide the most flattering portrayal of Vince's company, though. Although Paige's desire to succeed in the company demonstrates its coveted status, much is also revealed about the demands of travel, isolation, and obsessively maintaining the right look. In one particular telling scene, Paige undergoes a teeth whitening procedure, and she talks about the all-encompassing hold WWE has on its employees, stating, they own you, don't they? Probably not the message the WWE wants to hear. And number one, the Charlotte angle. Hoo-wee, it is never cool to make fun of the dead to the face of their families. Surely, that is a f***ing given. Yet time and time again, WWE have dug up the dead to be used for cheap heat. Eddie Guerrero was a big one, and then there was Paige's use of Reed Flair's death to incite violence from Charlotte. This landed terribly with the fans and caused many to deem that it was way too far. It's a scene that's never been aired since, and it is so obvious why they wouldn't want to, seeing as Ric Flair and his daughter are now pretty much synonymous with the WWE brand. I am. I am. I am. I am. Defiant. I am. I am. Defiant. I am. 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 Defiant. 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 I am. I am. I am defiant. I am defiant. I am the villain. We are defiant. <laughs> oh, oh, wasn't that something? Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe below. And also, the people who made this lovely video, they're appearing right here. But if you're thinking to yourself, I want to see more content, Jules, then why not look above my head? As there probably is some. I don't know. I can't see it. Until next time.